Hey everyone, it's Lacey. Welcome to Paws and Paper. So today I am still playing around with my, I don't know what I want to call this, my quilted, scrappy quilted journal. Um, and today I was just working on some pockets, envelopes, tucks um, with doilies. Um, I've been trying to go this, like I said, uh, on my last video on this journal, when I introduced that journal, I think this journal is going to be very girly. So I was trying to find things that looked lacy and girly. So I found doily. So I was making a few things with doily. So today I'm going to be making these cute doily envelopes and they're very delicate. Um, but I'm going to just glue the whole envelope in there. But how pretty when I make a journaling card or something to go in there, that's going to be cute. And then I've made these little seed pocket. Um, they're basically the size of like a, one of those little seed packets, but no flap. So I'm just going to call it a seed pocket um, out of the smaller doilies. And then I have this one here, which is a larger one, which will fit a large journaling card in the back. So there's a pocket there. And then there's a pocket up front, which fits a few other small things. And then I think when I glue it down, I'm only going to glue the top portion here and make like a tuck spot behind there. So this will be a three pocket piece um, to put in the journal. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to start making things and show you what I did. So first of all, I had these square doilies. Now I think these are eight inch squared. Yeah, these are eight inch square doilies. And the perfect thing about these is that they are exactly squared because it makes the making of the envelope so much easier. Now mine has this square in the center here and that's exactly where I just folded my pieces over. Um, so this one took a matter of seconds, literally, to um, put together. So this was my very simple doily envelope. And I think this is going to be pretty specific. You're going to almost have to have these square like doilies. I don't know what it would look like, you know, if you had to, you know, if you cut a doily down, it's going to lose some of its prettiness. So if you do happen to have these square doilies, this is a cool little easy envelope to make. I'm just grabbing a piece of scrap paper so I don't glue it down to itself. So there, like in a matter of seconds, we've made this really cute envelope. Okay. And then the only thing I did to embellish these was just add... Um, on this one, I just added the, the butterfly for a piece to flap. So I've got my bin of whatnots. Whoops, spilled my glue. And I'm trying to think if I go for another butterfly or just any sort of piece. You know, that might be kind of pretty if I, maybe if I get her shoulders up there just a little bit more. That's really pretty. I do like that. Let's just go for that. And I'm just going to use my vintage photo. Just highlight the edge of this here. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It is another just a spectacular day here in Ohio. It is windy and cold and rainy and it's May. So it's just a little depressing. It's like I am ready for spring and we are just not quite getting the spring weather yet. So if you're somewhere where you're getting nice spring warm weather, I would take anything over the 40 degrees that we're getting now. So anything warmer than that is good for me. 
So there we go. How simple and cute are those? Now I'm just going to, when I put these in the journal, I am going to glue the whole piece down because it is sort of delicate. Um, I don't want it to, uh, be removable. I did forget to, I'm just going to trim these little edges off here. I don't really want it to, you know, be something that you handle too much. I think most people would be okay with opening and closing the flap. But if you think it's too delicate, I mean, you could always put a piece of fabric or anything behind there, which I may still end up doing if I don't think that it can handle the flipping. So there's those pretty envelopes. So I'm just going to quickly do this one here because it takes just a matter of moments. And then you really can decorate them up however you want. But the actually, I saw these. Um, someone was using them as like wedding invitations. They put their wedding invitations inside of a doily envelope like this. And I just thought that was so pretty. It was really neat. I don't know if they were the same. You know, like these paper doilies are pretty flimsy. I wonder if you can get maybe like a thicker doily. Hi, Stitch. Are you going to help? Huh? Are you helping? You're always so helpful. So yeah, I saw them as wedding invitations and I thought that was such a pretty idea. But uh, I guess if they were wedding invitations, you know, like if it was just like the enclosure, maybe it wouldn't matter if it was so flimsy because, you know, you're not going to be handling it a bunch. I would assume, it's, you know, most people wouldn't keep someone else's invitation for too long. But, you know, I have seen paper survive hundreds of years, so it just kind of depends. Okay, so there is our envelope. Done, done. And let's put a piece on. So I also, I've been thinking about this idea. I have, I don't know if you guys have heard this. Um, it's, and I don't know if this is or a thing or just something that I had heard um, or seen. It's called the washed and worn look. It's, it might be kind of hard to explain. Anyway, this person, they did this and uh, it turned out really, really cool. I really kind of want to try it. But, uh, I have to figure out how I'm going to do it first. Because it kind of looks a little complicated. And I think we'll just go with the flower. Um, but it, it seems like it could be pretty cool in the end. And the, basically the, the idea is you put all this stuff, you wrap it up, you... Um, you know, fold it, roll it, whatever. And then you put it in a big stock pot and you put like coffee tea bags in there or co not coffee bags, tea bags in there and you pour water in it and you kind of just let it sit and marinate <laughs> in this big giant tub. And then when you like, and, and they used fabrics and papers and everything anything you put in your your entire journal is wrapped up in there and uh and then you let it go and when it's all done it comes out super grungy looking really cool so that was I need to figure out how I'm gonna do that okay so these are like six inch rounds and that's how I made my little seed pocket here and this one all I did don't want to use my forest moss. That's what I did with this one. Um, I just took my forest moss and kind of colored the uh, the decorative edges here a little bit. And then just a little bit in the center. I will see some of the back of this, but not a whole lot. 
Well, let's color them up. Like I said, I really, I've been liking this forest moss color. If you're looking for a really, um, it's kind of a yellowish green, brownish green. It seriously does look like forest moss. It looks just like that mossy stuff you see uh, hanging on the trees. Which is a cool color when you want to do um, anything botanical or floral. Okay, the super simple I did was flip it over and fold it in my edges. And I eyeball everything completely. I had no rhyme or reason for anything. I was just trying to make sure I did it relatively straight. That was my only thing. Try to go for straight, fold the two sides in, attach it in the middle. And like I said, I mean, you can see how simple these are. Doesn't take much to to get these together at all. Did you see I'm using a new glue? I'm trying the art glitter glue. I've got, uh, I got hooked on the bandwagon. Now I am gonna try to make it the same because I'm gonna put them on in the same journal. I kind of, I actually did pretty good. Huh. Um, so I'm gonna try to make them a little bit the same size. Otherwise, I really wouldn't care. They're not going to go next to each other anyway. And then glue some whatever pieces I can get to glue down to stay down. And then make sure that I don't glue it all the way to the bottom. Didn't fold very straight. Okay. Perfect. I kind of got off on my folding. I'm a little bit off. Uh, we're just going to do this. Fix it. Okay. There's one seed pocket. And then the other one. Here we go. Again. Just fold. I guess I'm going about two inches. So my from here to here, that's where I'm kind of looking. So got those folded and then get that glued down. Well, it sounds like the boys are back. They did go to get the car sweeped out. They uh, had to go get all the mud out of the car from all their soccer tournaments. Their shoes are full of mud. So they had to go sweep the car out because it was a disaster. <laughs> if you can hear them, they're, they're yelling up there already. Oh, they're arguing about food. That's what they're arguing about. Imagine that. The boys are arguing about food. If anybody out there has teenage boys, oh my gosh, they just eat everything. I cannot keep enough food around for these people. Okay, so there's a second one. Again, I am not apparently folding very well, but we're going to fix it. And when I decorated the other one, I was like, I put a little bit of washi tape as a decoration on the side there. So if I uh, think that's going to come undone. So there's those, and those can just be decorated up. I'll put a little embellishment or some washi on those. How cute are those? Those are cute. And then the last one is probably the most complicated one, just because I did put this piece of scrapbook paper behind here to um, stiffen up and uh, secure this doily part so that I could make it another pocket. This one here is, this is an 11 inch circle and Again, I put the wrong side up. And I started out the same way as making the seed pocket little thingy. And this one here, how wide did I make this one? 
one, two, three, four, five, maybe. So one, two, three, four, roughly five. Roughly. I say roughly, loosely five, roughly five. Man, I don't know even know if I did that straight. That doesn't look very straight at all. Yes, that's what I'm aiming. I just need to get it straight. I'm not really too awful concerned about the actual dimensions. Just trying to get it straight. Okay. And then this one. Which does not look straight at all. I am. This is the hardest part for me. Okay. We're going to embellish it up anyway. You might not see any of that. So then what I did was just, I, I folded it up just higher than I did with like the seed pocket deal. So roughly, how far did I fold that up? One, two, roughly a three inch fold. Okay. So there's my basis. And the first thing I did was glue this side flap down and glue and doilies is just tedious you have to try to glue all these little bits which is difficult or you could just slap some glue stick on it and then you wouldn't have to worry about trying to trace all these darn lines. All right, a little bit of glue, all it takes. Okay, just don't glue it to the back. Okay, now this part here is where I got a piece of scrap paper and put it on the back. So, do I have anything available to me at this moment? Oh, that's what I used. I used the back of this postcard for the green. Kind of want to use something else. Let me see what I got. Okay, so I have my remaining remnants um, from the last project I was working on. So I am just going to use one of these. And I'll use the other one for the next one. But all I did was put it in here. And then just did a trace around because I'm going to rough cut this to match. And I didn't get too awful fussy with my cutting. It's hard to see with that foil, the gold foil. Okay, so let's see here. This is anywhere near straight, probably not. And it doesn't have to be 100% on there. Mainly I just need to stiffen up this back pocket. I can't see where I trace. I should have traced on the other side. The gold really glares and it's very hard to see where my pencil mark was. Not very smart of me. So just a rough cut. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly in line because you'll see that it doesn't really show all that awful much. I'm just going to ink it just in case it shows any of the edges. And glue this down all the way down and I did sew this one too so if I don't get all my glue on there I'm okay with that and smush it down so there we've got our pocket reinforced now. Now is when I would go back and clean up any of my edges that are not 
low enough that I don't like sticking up. So, you know, I don't mind it sticking up some. I think it looks fine. Okay, so there. Just a little cleanup. And then go ahead and ink it up a little bit. I just thought these were a really cool uh, idea for um, like a triple pocket. You get quite a few spots in here to tuck things in. Okay, and if you're not 100% in line like I am not, I am just going to do that, trim it up. And I will clean it up when I sew around it. And then... I just glued my sides, make a pocket here, and then I sewed around. Actually, I didn't sew around the whole thing. I just sewed um, down the sides here to help just reinforce these sides. And that is pretty much it on those. Aren't they cute? Then you can just decorate them all up. Okay, so I am going to finish this one by sewing down the sides and around here. And I'm going to catch up with my other one and I'm going to use this scrapbook paper and then I'm going to put it in the journal. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all my pieces decorated and um, completed. So I figured that would be easier than you guys trying to watch me just sit there and decorate. So now I am going to just pick a signature and go with one of each of these and each signature. So I had looked at this previous and I was looking at this really dark page here. You're so helpful, Stitch. Thank you. Um, using this, come on, you need to go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Um, using this one on this page here because it's a really uh, vintage old um, notebook paper. And I thought that that might stand out on there. Or maybe just the pure white one, but that's not wide enough. Okay, so let's just go with this one and... Let's put that in here like this. So then we'll have a pocket here, a pocket here, and we'll have a tuck spot on the side here with something that we can let hang out a little bit. Okay, let's do that. So now I am going to glue everything. So I'm just going to make this roughly a pocket here. And then... That'll give me a decent sized square that I can tuck something in. And try to get this. I know I'm gonna have to go back and do some touch up gluing to make sure all these little pieces go down. But for now, I think that is good. This will just get on here like that and even without a bunch of inking that just really stands out nicely on that dark page so i'm going to put one of these um triple pockets this one is the one i had stuff tucked into it um in each signature and then we have our little seed pockets and are white envelopes and I didn't do anything with the white envelope I wanted it to be um, completely white because I was thinking to maybe offset it on one of these really grungy old pages here this one is just like a flip out we could make that a flip but it kind of hides it would make sure that that envelope stays shut, though. Hmm. Let's 
got to be on one of the wider pages. Let's see. Maybe on this back side. That might be kind of cool. Let's go on the back side of this one. It does cover up some of that really pretty vintage -y ledger, but it does stand out really nice on there. It's actually a really cool kind of page. Okay, we're just going to go for that, and I am just going to glue this whole thing down. And I still have not decided yet if I'm going to put some fabric on the hinge of this. Once I start opening and closing it, I may decide. I have opened it and closed it several times already, and it seems to be upholding. But I'm being, being pretty gentle with it. But I think, oh, I think we'll be okay. Okay, so there is our envelope. And I have a feeling I'm going to make like a a pretty fabric um, journal card of some kind. Because I think the fabric will show through that really pretty. And then, so I'll put an envelope in each one. And then I got these pretty little seed pockets. Where could we put one of those? Let's see. Could almost put it on the bingo card that kind of offsets nice cute little something there and then it kind of sturdies where you would tend to grab keep this side plain if you wanted to journal on that side and then we could put it there let's do that yeah let's put it there and then I'll put one of these in each one so you can see now how each of these will fit in the journal. And I think they turned out really super cute. Once you decorate them all up, they are really quite cute and super easy to make. Like not a lot of folding, not a lot of gluing. It barely takes any glue to get, you know, the doilies put together. But they turn out super, super cute. And now I have anything small enough it's too small but that will become a cute little pocket there so there we go and then i'm gonna keep putting these in each of my signatures and we've got another three pages done or three ideas for pages done so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy uh watching me create this journal. I haven't done the craft alongs for a while, so I will be back with another idea to fill this journal up. So guys, get your paws dirty and get crafty. I will see you later. Bye.